Good morning, class. Okay, take your seat. So, is there any absent today? Good. Perfect attendance. As we move on in our very interesting discussion, I want you to follow these some agreements to have a better interaction, okay? First, sit erect. Second, listen carefully. And the last one, participate in the discussion. Clear? Okay, very good. Yesterday, we had already discussed about the nouns, isn't it? But before we proceed to our next topic, let us have some recapitulation, okay? What again is all about nouns? Very good! It identifies names of people, places, things, and ideas. So come again, what are the examples of nouns in terms of objects? Very good! Um, example is ball. I have prepared some exciting activity today. Are you ready? Okay. So let's start. Can you see these three pairs of pictures? So what can you say about these pictures? Keep your answers in your mind and let us find out what are these pictures all about. So our topic for today is all about Countable and uncountable. Countable nouns are nouns that can be counted. These nouns are example, a ball. Ball can be counted, isn't it? How about um, a lollipop? Is it belong in countable nouns? Yes, very good. So, countable nouns uh, have singular and plural form. So, let us find out it later as we proceed to its examples, okay? So, next, uncountable nouns are nouns that cannot be counted. For example, it is the sand on the beach. Can you count those pieces of sand? No, isn't it? So, it's, uh, it, it belongs to the uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns can be used only in singular. So, let us find out. These are the examples of countable and uncountable nouns. For countable, the first one is table. And, the, and for the uncountable, it's the coffee. Coffee is belong to uncountable. Why? Because it's liquid. All, all forms of liquid cannot be uncountable, isn't it? Yes. So next, apple versus milk. So as I said, milk is liquid. Next, ball and money. Next, ball and money. Child and hair. As I said a while ago, our hair cannot be counted. Last, houses and sun. So as I said in our previous example of uncountable, sun is belong to uncountable nuns. So in here, we can observe that under countable nouns, it can be plural or singular. For example, the table, it is singular. Uh, but the houses, it is plural. Uh, how about the uncountable? So you can see here that uh, the examples here are only singular. So that is what meant by the uncountable can be used only in singular form so in general when we say countable nouns these nouns can be counted and countable nouns are can be used in singular and plural forms uh, while uncountable nouns these nouns cannot be counted and it can be only used in singular forms the other information about countable and uncountable nouns will be discussed to your next teacher. Okay? Bye! Okay, class. There are two forms of nouns. The singular and the plural nouns. What is singular noun? 
Singular nouns refers to one person, place, or a things. Where plural nouns refers to more than one person, place, or a thing. Sinasabi dito is, ang singular is iisa lang siya. Kapag din sinabi natin plural is dalawa or more than one. For example, car, iisa lang siya. Pero pag sinabi natin cars, marami siya. More than one na siya, okay? Naiintindihan ba natin, class? Very good. I have here examples of singular and plural nouns. One example, like, while ago, I said is the cars, the car and the cars, where the car is the singular noun and the cars is the plural noun. Next example is book, books. Where the book is the singular noun and the books are plural nouns. Can you identify where is the singular and plural in this example? Flower, flowers. Why do, what do you think is the sing, singular and the plural nouns in the example? Yes, very good. The flower is the singular noun and the flowers are plural nouns. Wow, very good, class. Last one is dog dogs. The dog is the singular noun and the dogs are plural nouns. Very good, very good class. Naiintindihan nyo kung anong ibig sabihin ng plural at singular noun. And then, I have here to remember. Okay class, remember. Singular verb are used with singular countable nouns. While plural verbs are used with plural countable nouns. Ang sinasabi dito, pag sinabing singular verb, singular countable noun lang siya. Pero pag sinabi natin plural verb, plural countable noun lang din siya. Hindi pwedeng singular is magiging plural countable noun. Pag sinabing singular, singular din siya. And plural is plural countable noun. Do you understand class? Okay, very good. I have here some example, I have here a sentence that can we identify the countable noun and a, or it is plural or a singular verb. Example is, my dog is playing. In the sentence, where is the countable and where, where is the singular verb there? My dog is playing. The dog is a countable noun, singular countable noun, and is is the singular verb. I repeat, my dog is playing. The dog is the singular countable noun, and is is the singular verb. Last example is, my dogs are hungry. My dogs are hungry. The dogs is the plural countable noun and are is the plural verb. I repeat, my dogs are hungry. The dogs is the plural countable noun and are is the plural verb. Do you understand class? Very good. I have here four questions or four sentences here. Can you identify where is the countable nouns in the sentence? Are you ready, class? I will pick one. And please read the sentence and identify the countable nouns. Okay. Please read. I have two dogs. Where is the countable nouns in the sentence? Yes, very good, the dogs. Why? Because we can count the dogs, right? Yes. Very good class. Next one. The children are playing in the garden. Where is the countable nouns in the sentence? Yes. The countable nouns in the se sentence is the children. Why? Because we can count the children who is playing in the garden. Wow, you are nice guy. You are nice class. Iintindihan niyo talaga kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng countable nouns. 
Next, Alexa has three cut cars. So where is the countable nouns in the sentence? Yes, very good. The cars. Why? Because we can count the cars of Alexa. Right? Yes, very good class. Let's do an example class. Jesse has ten dollars. Where is the countable nouns? Yes, very good. The dollars. Why? Because we can count the dollars of Jesse. Very good class. So always remember that countable nouns is a noun that can be counted. Nabibilang natin siya. Okay, class? You understand? May intindihan ba natin, class? Very good. So, that's all, class. And thank you for listening. And good day, everyone. Okay, class. Good morning. Before we go to our discussion, take a look in your surroundings and in your home. What can you see in your home and in your surroundings? Yes. You can see a trees, chairs, tables, gadgets, and many more, right? So the connect of the things that you said while ago is a countable nouns. First, what is nouns? Nouns is a word used to identify any of the class of a people a person, and a places. Countable nouns is a noun that can be counted. Are individual people, animals, places, things, or ideas which can be counted. Are easy to recognize. They are things that we can count. So yung mga sinabi nyo kanina na mga, mga bagay is examples of countable noun kasi nabibilang lahat sila can we consider a countable noun a glue yes you can count the glue right one and two there are two glues right yes it is considered a countable noun example this color marker can we still consider a countable noun Yes, still, we considered this example countable nouns. Last example, these two ball pens, can we consider a countable noun? Yes, still, we considered countable nouns because we can count the ball pens, the glues, and the color marker right this is the example of countable nouns so class do you know that the countable nouns are there are two forms of nouns where the singular noun and the plural noun first what is singular noun singular okay good afternoon Children, how are you today? So, a while ago, uh, teacher B. Myrin and teacher Jocelyn tackle about the countable nouns and its examples. What is countable nouns again, class? Yes, all nouns. Pero minsan, ito ay nagiging countable depende sa paggamit ng uh, speaker. Depende sa preference na gagamitin ng speaker or teacher. So, another one. Is time countable or uncountable nouns? Time itself is uncountable, but the ways we divide time are countable. So, ang uh, oras ay may tuturing na uh, uncountable, pero ito ay nagiging countable depende sa kung paano natin ito i-divide. Time though is usually conceptualized in seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, decades, and etc. All of these are countable nouns and should be treated as such. So, ito po yung uh, 
Pwede nating gamitin upang it, ang oras ay magiging countable now. So, there are also uh, problems that we encounter through uncountable and countable nouns. There are uh, common problems. Number one here is common problem number one, articles. Lots of children who are learning English as a second language will drop article like a, an, or the by mistake. So, for instance, instead of saying I want a cup, Usually, children or students say, I want cup. Another one. Instead of saying or asking, do you have pencil? Do you have a pencil? They usually uh, ask, do you have pencil? So, that's the uh, number one common problem in that we encounter in uncountable nouns. So, another one. Number two is, uh, dropping the S on the end of plurals. Lots of children will drop the S on plural nouns and just use the singular form. So, for instance, instead of saying, I have uh, three dogs, they usually say, I have three dogs. Another one. Instead of saying, I, I made some cookies, they usually say, I made some cookie. So that's a common uh, mistake that students encounter. So, common problem number three is adding an S where they don't need it. So some children are used to adding an S on the end of nouns when it is plural and make mistakes on uncountable nouns because of it. So, ito po yung uh, na-encounter ng San na uh, dinadagdagan ng S na kung pwede sana ay hindi dapat dagdagan ng S. So, for instance, instead of saying, may I have some water? They usually say, may I have some waters? Another one, instead of saying, I like bread, they usually say, I like breads. So, that's the common uh, problems that we encounter in uncountable and countable nouns. So, do you understand class? So, that's all. And later on, uh, Teacher Joyce Ann will explain to us the, and give us the examples of uncountable nouns. Thank you and God bless. When we say, uncount when we say countable nouns, ito ay mga nabibilang na nakapaligid sa atin kagaya na lamang ng table chair, pental pen or any na basta yung nabibilang na nakapaligid sa akin or nakikita natin na nabibilang okay, class, did you understand? yes ma'am and next, accountable nouns is not a that usually can be expressed in a plural form, it is not a something you can quantify so, when we say accountable nouns, hindi naman siya nabibilang, for example milk, water kasi hindi natin nabibila kasi maramihan siya ganun. Did you understand class? Yes. Okay, very good. So, an example of a example of countable nouns of a singular plural. One dog, two dogs. One man, two horses. One idea, two ideas. One shop, two shops. So, this is an example of countable nouns in a sentence. Please stand, Jana, and let us. She borrowed eggs from the shop yesterday. So, what is the countable nouns in a sentence, Jana? Okay, very good. Eggs. So, hello, class. Today, I am your teacher, Lani. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. So, teacher Jocelyn, teacher Myrin, and teacher Paz. Also, teacher? Yes, Joyce Ann, 
already presented and discussed the countable and uncountable nouns. So, before we will have an activity, let's have a recap. So, what is noun? Okay, very good. Noun class is a name of person, place, things, and animals. Very good. So, there are two type, types of noun. First is countable nouns. So, what is countable nouns? Countable nouns are nouns that we can count very good. And uncountable nouns are nouns that we can count. We can count. Okay. Did you already understand class? Clap your hands if you understand. Very good. So, let's have an activity. Are you ready? Again, are you ready? Clap your hands five times if you are ready, class. Five. Okay. I guess we are all ready. So, first, this will be the group one. And that will be the group two. Okay, so I prepared an activity class. Are you ready? Okay, I'm glad that you are now ready. So, let's compose ourselves. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Silence, please. Group one. Okay. Are you ready, class? Let's begin the activity. And this is this. The mystery box. The uncountable nouns and the countable nouns. The orange box is the countable nouns. While this green here is the uncountable nouns very good and this will be the mystery box are you ready are you excited let's brace ourselves so that will be the group one and that will be the group two okay if you are now ready let's clap our hands three times again class so, let's begin in three, two, and one. Let's go. So, as you can see, this will be the uncountable and countable nouns. If the things that I will show is belongs to the, are belong to the uncountable nouns, you will put it here as and same. If the things that I will show you, guys, you will put it here at the orange box. Is it clear? Okay, I'm glad. Let's go. Flower. Where do we classify flower? Okay. Very good, group one. The flower classifies to countable nouns next pen pens where do we classify pens very good group two this will be at the countable nouns next this is a floor or sa tagalog harina oh where do we classify flower? Very good, group two. This will be at the uncountable nouns. 
why it is an uncountable noun? Yes, because flower. Okay, group two. Yes, very good. We cannot count. Next. What is it? Everyone. Group one. Group two. Okay, group two. This is salt. So, salt. Where do we classify salt? Is it from countable or uncountable nouns? Very good. This will be at the uncountable nouns. Next. Comb. Where do we classify comb? Very good. Group 1. It is from countable nouns. Because we can count. Very good. Another. Peanut butter. Where do we classify peanut butter? This will be at the uncountable nouns. Okay, I will put it here. Next. Sweets or lollipops. Where do we classify lollipops? Okay, group one. Very good again. This will be at the countable nouns. So, did you already understand what is the meaning of countable and uncountable nouns? That's great. Okay, let's have a short recap. Countable noun class is nouns that we can count. While uncountable nouns are nouns that we cannot count. Very good class.